How did you screw with computers at school? My high school had a program on all the computers that would allow the teachers to watch an entire classroom screens, take control of them, send content to them, etc. A friend of mine came up an idea to try to use it to prank the classroom, being the r slash I am very smart 16 year olds we were. So, when my teacher wasn't looking, I put a USB stick into her computer and copied her spa program eggs directory onto it to take a look at what was different between the teacher and student versions. Turns out all you needed to make the student version a teacher version was a 25 character license key that was in a plain text file. So, obviously, I copied it and upgraded my client to a controller using all of my teacher settings. We then proceeded to rickroll the classroom on full volume from 34 computers. It was pretty great. At the end of the class we came up with a great idea. What would happen if we took control of our teacher's computer and messed with her? So, we connected to her computer, but she had been watching our screen from her screen. So, for about 5 seconds we see a bottomless pit of our screen and her screen mirrors over and over and over. After about 5 seconds, our PC fans got super loud and then shut off. When we tried to turn it back on it was a black screen with only a flashing and a score in the top left corner. That PC had to be re-imaged by district tech support. Still not sure what caused that. Not me, but I remember at my old school someone managed to disable the H key on lots of the computers. If you were typing and tried to press H you would get an error message saying like sorry, but the H key on this computer is currently disabled. Please try again later. Somebody threw a Molotov cocktail into the window of a computer lab at my school. It was over a weekend. Thankfully, so nobody was there, but it destroyed all of the computers in the room. My friend and I got blamed for it, because the teacher whose lab it was thought we didn't like her, which we didn't. Thankfully our alibi was that we were on a plane flying back from a school exchange trip to Belgium, when the damage occurred. There were several teachers on the flight to corroborate our story, that, and, you know, plane tickets. Unplugged mouse from back of computers 1 and 2. Switch the plugs, but leave the mice where they were. Mouse in front of computer 1 is now plugged into computer 2 and vice versa. Watch the hilarity ensue. In 200. 1, I think. Friends and I installed StarCraft Deep in my high school's file network, accessible on every computer in the building, and we had it programmed to run without a disk. You would still need a CD key to play, but hacked slash false CD keys were easy back in the day. We passed out false CD keys to those who knew to ask us. And since it was all on the shared network, you could land from basically anywhere in the building. This was right around the time when computers were becoming really prevalent in schools. Not just with computer labs, but many classes now had multiple computers, or were specifically just on computers. So, we'd end up organizing these pretty large StarCraft battles across the school. Even got to the point where, in drafting class, where the teacher absolutely didn't care what we were doing, my two friends and I, huge nerds, if that wasn't obvious, would play some of the jocks in the class who loved StarCraft. We didn't just break into the system to have fun, we also broke down barriers to make life better. Our school network ran on Windows 4 Work Groups 3. Zero. Machines were locked down, so you couldn't run your own programs on them. However we discovered, if you put a modified win, any file that allowed you to install your own programs in a network drive that came before where the lockdown version was stored it would use that, and you could install stuff. And that was my first introduction to Doom Multiplayer. Soundboards. Holy shit we were little demons in middle school with those things. My personal favorites were either Arnold Schwarzenegger or Pulp Fiction. When the teacher would ask if there are any questions. From the back of the class you would hear in a thunderous voice, who is your daddy, and what does he do? Followed by an eruption of laughter. Also following up any time the teacher said, that's correct with, correct Amundo. If you're reading this milliseconds. Jadish I'm so sorry. We pretty much ran the network. It was up or down at our whim. The entire network used hubs, and this was right as routers were becoming a thing, so they were not yet economical. We would shut down the entire network with a repeating, ping command in DOS, set to maximum packet size. It was far too simple. We wouldn't usually do it for long, just enough for everyone to think it was a hiccup, and to see if we could. Our computer class was actually really awesome. 
the assigned modules were easy, and once we were finished our teacher would let us do our own thing. Turns out, our school had an entire computer graveyard. We would go in there, find parts, and build entire computers. Eventually we had a separate network of 8 or 10 machines that we used exclusively for Quake 2 and the original Halo. One day the school came in and removed our separate gaming computers. We were pissed. The network was down for quite a while. My school had one of those annoying monitoring programs, so the librarian could quickly see what you were doing and take control. And usually the ass would just turn the computer off. Someone found out then, when she started watching a small square appeared in the top left corner of the screen. If you right click this square you could reverse the control, and take her computer over. Someone took over and rather quickly hit delete on the windows folder. It didn't work, but it helped. Stop the overbearing watchful eye of the shitty librarian. So computer class for most of grade school was nothing more than endless typing classes. She sells seashells by the seashore and other tongue twisters to get us practicing home rows and typing quickly. Absolutely mind-numbingly dull. Sure, getting to play Commander Keen or Wolfenstein after was nice, but the reward was nowhere near worth the effort to reach it, and the teacher would constantly get frustrated with me ditching home rows and finishing faster and accurately without them. So one day, with us both being frustrated with each other, I restarted the computer and opened the BIOS setup utility and started changing random settings to random values. Child me was vindictive. This probably shows my age but we'd open basic and write a little program that went something like this. 10 will print you suck. 20 go to 10. Then we'd edit the shortcut to a popular program, say millisecond word, to link to this program instead. When an unsuspecting user clicked to open what they thought was a legit program, instead they'd be treated to the dot matrix printer screeching out you suck, you suck, you suck, forever. Only way to stop it was to find and terminate the program. Powering down the printer and turning it back on again wouldn't do it. My school district used Max pretty much everywhere. A couple of the most common pranks. There was a key combination that would invert all the colors on the screen. I like it was all the meter keys and 8. It was a lot of fun to do this to someone who left their computer unattended and didn't know that. One of the function keys, I think F11, would move all the windows to the outside edge of the screen, showing the desktop. Pushing it again moved them back, but there was an animation associated with both of the movements. If you held shift while tapping F11, it would do the same thing, but with the animation slowed down. The thing is, it didn't matter if the animation had completed or not, the machine would queue up another action for each time you hit F11, but wouldn't cancel the animation in progress. So if you were quick enough and someone wasn't paying attention, talking to their neighbor, looking a book, etc, you could lean over, spam shift plus F11 a few dozen times and effectively force them to watch all their windows slide in and out at a snail's pace for a minute or two. Shift plus PRINTSCREN to capture desktop. Open paint. CTRL plus V. Rotate image upside down and save. Set image as desktop background. Auto hide taskbar. On desktop, right click, view, uncheck show desktop icons. Laugh at random victims attempting to use computer. I never did anything to damage computers, just circumvent security measures. Using standalone browsers or games from a flash drive, using said browsers and or proxies, to get around web filters, installing program slash games in the C root directory, since most group policy or other security measures wouldn't stop something from executing from there, etc. Finally, I can contribute. I was in college, in a classroom, waiting my turn to an exam, which was held in another room. Bored out of my mind, behind me was a PC. I saw a red button that said 220. I say out loud what does this button do and turn the button. The button now says 150 and a loud bang and smoke comes from inside the PC unit. I turned the power supply unit from 220V to 150V which toasted it. The room was full with my colleagues. Everybody looks at me in disbelief. I begin to laugh out loud, not believing what just happened. Luckily, nobody told on me to the professor, which was a difficult guy. I managed to install Linux on almost 90% of all computers at the school all at once. 
there were several flaws in the network that is discovered over the years that let me essentially ruin, to the id department at least, over 110 of their machines. Firstly, since these were mostly Macs, I was able to abuse their poorly configured guest account system to gain screen sharing access to any Mac that was currently logged in, regardless of the account that was currently in use. Second, the id department set up some sort of program that would read a script file then update the Macs according to the file via single user mode, I think. I modified one of the update scripts to point to a Linux image instead of an OSX update. I can't remember what I did, but I think there were specially modified images that will install a default system state silently, requiring no user input other than the parameters for the disk partition when being run in the command line that somehow worked. So essentially the next scheduled update completely fucked the school by installing an OS that nobody knew how to use. It was glorious, and apparently it was cheaper to toss the Macs and buy new ones than to pay the id department to actually reinstall OSX by hand. Whatever, I got a ton of free Macs that day, unexpectedly good outcome. When I was in the 12th grade all the computers ran Windows XP. Fellow classmates were crazy for Minecraft. One day in computer lab during lunch I saw an open computer. I walked over and opened Nossipod and entered the code for deleting system 32. I then changed the icon to Minecraft, named it Minecraft, eggs and put it on the shared drive. The next day about 22 computers became bricked. No one ever found out it was me. Sorry in advance for mediocre English. It's my third language. I think it was in 2004. My ed teacher let me use an old laptop for a project. Inside it was a floppy disk with a username and password for all users on the learning platform we used, including teachers. The rest of the semester I logged into the teachers accounts, found the hand-ins from the best students, downloaded, made it my own, and handed it in from my own account. Never got busted, but I realized I used almost the same time altering assignments as I would have if I just made my own. Also had some fun with the Letma rule Trojan from time to time. Not me but some guy has been updating a games folder on the school's public slash h slash drive. None of the teachers or tech supports guys can get rid of it or set it up so we can't use it. No one knows where it came from except it's been there since forever. It has counter strike 1. 6. Day of defeat. Halo set, a Halo odd stimulator. It actually works. I too have questions. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Team Fortress Classic. Doom. Cotter. Minecraft. Old School RuneScape. S. Morrowind and a few others. My friend and I entered into the operating system itself a virus that would essentially hunt through ML accounts with edu address. So all teachers and administration and display a picture of two women having sex. If the operator clicked, equals 10 times, a video started. If the operator clicked, 20 times the noise started. The only way to get rid of it was pretty simple. Center. Alt. Det and use task but to shut it down. Not that complex obviously. Although to be honest I didn't do a lot of programming. I did some of the basics. However I mostly did the strategic planning of how we were actually going to get it done and implement it. My friend's dad was a programmer and hobbyist hacker, so he actually helped my friend design it. I still find it hilarious that his dad was willing to fuck with the teachers. He must really hated our school lol. However most teachers didn't know that. They didn't know who did it, but it was hilarious. 